Okay, I see a question here. Um, what would you recommend upgrading first, an antenna or coax? I have a 15 foot section of RG58 feed line and a homemade two meter ground wave. Um, I, I always tell people is, um, you know, if, if you're gonna run coax, invest in quality coax because it takes a lot of work. It takes effort to put in a decent coax run. And uh, it's something you, you don't wanna have to redo again in five years. So um, spend the money, you're gonna, you, you'll see, you'll realize your, especially with VHF, UHF antennas, you're gonna realize your, your greatest gains in putting in quality coax, low loss coax the first time, and then saving a little bit of money on an inexpensive antenna. More than you will spending a lot of money on a good, you know, on expensive, V, uh, VHF, UHF antenna and using cheap coax. You'll find, especially at two, well, for HF frequencies, RG58 mm -hmm. is fine. Uh, your loss per 100 feet is minimal. As your frequency gets higher, six meters, two meters, 440, that RG58 becomes an attenuator and you have some pretty yeah. significant losses uh, per 100 foot. So if you're, if it's a short run, you know, if you're just, you know, got a 10 foot um, piece of coax and you're outside and you just need to get something up in the air, that's fine. Start mm -hmm. getting about 25, 50 feet, then you're gonna definitely see a difference. So at least RG8, if not LMR 400 or better. Yeah. Um, I'm not telling you to go out and get Hardline or Heliax or anything, but RG8 or LMR 400 for two meter 440 stuff. And that should be fine. Make oh, sure yeah. it's a good, solid connection. Um, don't get the Amazon cheap stuff. I'm going to say it. I, I <laughs> use Amazon stuff for like my portable, yeah. but those connectors, as soon as you get a little water in there, that braid on the outside, uh, the outer braid is a wick. And it will just suck water in, and then it's useless. Mm -hmm. You might as well just take the whole 25, 50 foot and just toss it because it, it's not going to work anymore. Um, so yeah, a two meter ground plane is really simple. I mean, Michael, you've built them with a 239 connector. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. You know, and they'll last, mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you have crappy coax going to them, then it's pointless. So, and actually, yeah. if you're talking about fifth, you know, and, and I, I think the original question said 15 feet of coax and Alan, yeah, Alan says here that the coax line is short yeah. enough because really, you know, under for VHF under 25 feet. You know, I'm I'm comfortable with using eight RG eight X, but you could yeah. for yeah, a short but one. But it, over twenty five, then you got to well, you got to up it a little bit. And if you're gonna and if you're gonna be stringing coax, you know, if you're chasing it through walls in your house or something like that, and um, up up the up to the roof, then um, you know, if it, it's something you you only want to do once, so spend the money. Uh, no, right. you're gonna you're gonna do it again at some point in time. So you will relax eventually, but it'll it'll be better in the long run. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.